Hello, FM Batman, and welcome to episode 6. Yes, 6. And this is our first episode where we won't, repeat, won't be playing Football Manager. I'm repeating myself a lot. Top Dog. Oh my god. Well, I had a sandwich teed up nice there. Uh, yeah, but sorry, we're, we're taking a bit of a while with episode 6. But here we are with Battlefield 4. It should be fun. Uh, before we take our versus series to a, a new a new level. A whole so, new level. This is going to be big. Uh, we've had technical difficulties with this. We've recorded it like twice. Hence why it's come out about a week later than it should have. Yeah, but you didn't notice that, did you? No, and, no, uh, you're all good. The audio has been glitching, uh, but we've got a good 25 minutes of gameplay here for you. So yeah, yeah, should be fun. Fun times ahead. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, as we said, there were some technical difficulties, so sh we should probably warn you that we are recording over the video, so the video isn't happening as we're speaking, so if we seem superlatively un underwhelmed when we kill someone, it's because we did it about a week beforehand, and yeah. to be honest, the shock has kind of settled in now. You know, I liked it watching it the first time, but you know, it's a week after now, this is the third time I've seen these kills. Yes. It's just not that interesting. Nah, it's not particularly. But hopefully it is for you guys. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! And we will try our best to sound enthralled and amazed every time we do anything. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Yeah. Actually, today was a good day for us because Leicester won 1 0 against Leeds. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We really didn't deserve it. But, well, wow, it was nice. Sorry, any Leeds fans, you uh, you really should have deserved that win. I should say, first up on the screen is Al SM, who yeah, yeah. is playing on his PSM, The Typical Gent. The Typical Gent. That's if you want to add him. One word, The Typical Gent. No underscores. And yeah, it should be uh, interesting. What is it? Conquest? Yeah, yeah, yeah Conquest, Rogue Transmission. Happened a week ago, mine's a little hazy, I can't remember how well I did. Yeah, I think, I think I did well, I think I remember doing well. So what do you think of Battlefield 4 overall? Well, I've got to admit, when I first played Battlefield 3, I thought, this is nice, it's better than COD. I don't feel like I've... I don't feel like I've annoyed someone by killing them. I kind of feel like the whole game's a, a nice experience, everyone works together. It's good, yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, awesome. Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. the wonderful time when we joined the game and nothing happened. Oh, look at the leaderboard. You didn't perform very well. Right? No, no. I've got a good PKD. That's infinite. It's true. It's true. I've got an infinite PKD. Yeah. Oh, and uh, you may have noticed already, three minutes into the video, and you'll have thought, what, why don't my ears hurt? I, I could have sworn this far into a video my ears hurt. Well, it's because Top Dog has forgotten his soundtrack machine. Oh my god, yes. In fact, well, I probably I could load shouldn't mention it. I could load it up. No, no, it's oh, too maybe, late. Maybe I shouldn't. And actually, I've just thought, this map that I'm about to play a week ago, this <laughs> sends me insane, because I go out of my way to not play this map. I hate it. It's like, it's a sniper's paradise, which, admittedly, if you don't, if you do have Battlefield 4, you'll know by now, it is a sniper's paradise. It's just everyone is a sniper. Now, Top Dog would disagree with me because he's actually quite good at sniping, but I hate it. That was my main argument. You don't ah. really get it because you don't snipe yourself, so every other snipe kill, you just focus on that and you kind of realise ah. it more. It's just infuriating. Wow. Uh, no, um, I think we should probably mention, even though it won't really make us look good, uh, the video is like 1.2 times faster than it should be. Yes. Which essentially makes everything look a bit more silky and smooth. <laughs> which is good for us, but we you know, we can't we can't tell the truth if we well, say that we're just playing well. One point two, it's not that noticeable really. No, no. But, Except uh, that. That was, <laughs> that was I remember that. Catch. That was just like casually <laughs> jumping off the wall. Yeah. Anyone that hasn't got Battlefield four yet, uh, I'm sure even even then they know that there's a lot of glitches uh, yeah. currently in the game. This was recorded after the patch for Battlefield, so... Yeah, yeah, so everything was a little bit more clean, a little more crisp. Everything was a little nicer in the world. That's true. Yeah. It, it was one of the two uh, improvements we inadvertently meant, uh, made to this video. Uh, another one was that I had a cold at the time of this. So uh, it, was a, yeah. it was a life-threatening cold. And, uh, when you say life-threatening, you meant you had to sniffle a little bit. Well, I was sniffing like... Uh, Nigella oh, Lawson on that third break. But, oh, for God's sake. You know, Nigella jokes, really? Yes. Oh, I think I remember being told that I looked really cool, because I haven't seen the silky version of my play yet. But I think I remember Top Dog telling me that I look pretty damn silky. Well, it's not actually at this point. No? There's another point. You're, you're on ground level, but we'll, we'll see. Well, yeah, I 
Shoot, sir. Actually, one of the main reasons we should say uh, why we're recording this on Battlefield this episode is because we're going to offer up a chance to subscribers to play against us in oh, the next yeah. episode. Episode, episode 7. Episode 7, yeah. Oh, reversal. Yeah. That was the first time I'd ever done a counter-attack. I was so happy with myself. <laughs> it's a shame that we couldn't upload the last video because I was just screaming. I was screaming. So yeah, if you're listening to this and you've already subscribed to us, then log in. Yeah, yeah, cheers lads. We'll put up a message saying when we're going to have a game, and then basically you just join us on that day, at that time, and then uh, you'll have a chance to see yourself playing in the next episode. So. To repeat, Top Dog and I will be playing on Battlefield 4 in Episode 7. You can play with us, but you have to subscribe to know when we're playing. Yeah, we're not going to put it up on the Badman page, so I'm not trying to be sneaky. Yeah, yeah. We know what you're all like, you sneaky Leeds fans. Um, <laughs> right, okay, it looks like I've died, which is fantastic. Oh yeah, I remember this. This was quite a nice feeling. Get what rid of it. Well, I remember someone was about to die, and then I'm oh no wait, maybe it wasn't. I don't, no, it was a different tactic. I don't think you actually see it in this video, but one of uh, LSM's tactics is to oh god, yeah. uh, basically parachute off everything. Yeah, <laughs> I tried not to do it because Top Dog brought actually, it to my attention. This is the oh. bit you're on about. This is silkiness. Oh, oh, it looks just that bit better because it's one point two. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Yes. There's yes. one. And there's another. Oh god. What's going on? Uh, uh, I did not look silky. <laughs> what are you on about, Top Dog? You liar. I don't remember that. Oh, happening. Top Dog. <laughs> Lord Sportyman, you look you look so brilliant in this next bit. Oh, look at how well you take the stabs. Brilliant with a knife in your face. <laughs> oh, you. Well, you can tell that you're struggling when you're changing the sensitivity settings. Oh, it's, it's, that's desperation. Right? Yeah, I think that's basically my way of saying it's not my fault. The game. Yeah. The game. It's the game's fault. Oh, classic game. Yeah. yeah, I blame it on lag. If you can see the goal on FM, it's the referee's fault. Yeah, if you can see the goal in real life, it's the referee's fault. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> but if anything happens, really, it's, it's the referee's fault. Yeah, basically. Actually, the reason why we haven't got this episode. Ep episode? The reason why I can't say episode is because of the referee's fault. Right? Well, yeah. <laughs> the reason why you can't talk is because of the referee. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It's because of the referee. It's the referee that the episode's out. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. If you haven't uh, tuned out yet, then thank you, <laughs> thank you for staying loyal. <laughs> thank you. We're so sorry about everything. <laughs> uh, it's a great game, and uh, people can often compare this to Call of Duty, but I don't oh, think the two don't really compare. Nah, they don't. This is miles better. If this is like the battle of Barcelona versus Real Madrid, you know, there's those two are fairly similar, but. This, there's no, there's no comparison. No, oh, yeah, Battlefield yeah. is much better. I mean, I heard someone say this recently. It might have been you, Top Dog, for all I know. But someone said that Call of Duty is an arcade game, and this is a simulation. Oh yeah, which is this really? I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you look at my gun at the moment, you see on the right of the gun is an extra pair of sights. I'm not sure if I actually use it. If you do, yeah. It's, it's just a wonderful feeling because it's so realistic. You can have two sights. Call of Duty, Treyarch, and whoever the other one is, they're like, what? You can't have two sights? That's that's mad. That's madman, badman. And then we're like, we play Battlefield, we do what we like. We are the FM Badman. Oh god. Yes. That's cool. I'm taking credit for that. At first, when LSM played this, he wasn't sure that it was better than Battlefield 3, but that's basically because he was dying all the time. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of, I kind of looked at it, I thought, you know, this is a nice game, but... I don't actually see the difference. Ah, Claim. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, say, yeah, claim. Claim, claim was all useful. I definitely use that a lot myself. Uh, I don't think you'll see that because I'll be using LSM's set uh, you know, loadouts. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing we should say. This is LSM's account, so obviously. The typical gent? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. This is his uh, setup. I'm not sure yet, but we'll probably put both of our PSNs on the uh, description below. We're playing this on PlayStation 3, by the way. I think we. That's probably been made clear, but we're playing it on the PS3, so if you're going to try and join us on PS4, don't. It's a waste of your time. I should say, it still looks great on PS3, really. Yeah, yeah. I don't see any particular need to buy a PS4 yet. I mean, I know you've got plans in the future. Ah, yes. Top Dog and Mrs. Top Dog want to get a PS4. It's got to be done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. 
should say that I actually uh, bought premium for Battlefield 4 after this video was uh, created. So that's how much I, I rate it. I think it's great. It is brilliant. Really and uh, premium deal's quite good as well. So. I had a wonderful moment earlier. I was opening all my battle packs. They're these things called battle packs. It's the equivalent of like card packs in Ultimate Team. I think EA saw dollar signs really when they kind of yeah, made the Ultimate Team so, franchise. Too. And uh, it's a similar kind of system. It's like everyone has their own kind of packs of cards, and you can kind of make get new stuff. And these, like, when you buy premium, you get a load of battle packs, which give you like boosts and and sights and camos and stuff. Yeah. And uh, well, it was a wonderful feeling earlier, just opening hundreds and thousands of battle packs. We should say that because this is a competition, you know, episode of the channel. Top Dog vs Little Sporty Man. You should comment below. Saying who you think played the best, because you know we could battle to the end of time about saying who's best at gaming. Yeah, so yeah. you gotta help us out there. No wait, I just remembered. What's this? When we last made this video, we last did the commentary. I said that I was on a PKD of one, but to be honest, I wasn't sure. I think I guessed it. So we just saw that I was on nine for four. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna try counting it. I mean, because to be honest, I think I may have lied last time. Right. Well, that's if you judge your battlefield skills by. KDR. I mean, well, you know, that's like joke. it's like that kind of school ground attitude where you say, "Oh, I'm a better footballer than you because I score more goals." Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. If you're a striker, you know, you're comparing yourself to the family. You may, you mean, you may notice a tinge of bitterness in Top Dog's voice. Well, he was a left <laughs> midfielder, so he's always kind of, you know, he's always kind of treated assists oh, yeah. higher than goals. Which, well, admittedly, since I'm a left mid, I kind of do the same as well. But I've always been a player maker. That's yeah. my uh, that's my claim to fame. I've got to admit, as a kid, I was always like, "Yeah, I'll be a striker. I score all the goals." And then I grew up. <laughs> I grew up. I grew up, man. <laughs> I realised that being a playmaker is much better. You change, man. Change. Ah, yes. These are essentially my tactics. I just drop down. You yeah. can't, well, I didn't actually shoot anyone there, but usually what I do, there's this one map called Dawnbreaker, I think it's called yeah, Dawnbreaker, yeah. and essentially it's made up of like five huge towers that's set in Shanghai, so you know they're going to be big, and essentially you can just parachute down and just noob tube everyone. He's like the ultimate noob tuber, that could Whoa. be his new PSN really. If you kind of just imagine the ultimate noob tuber, <laughs> if you imagine an angel of the night, Dropping down from the light with a noob tube. That's that's how I like to think of myself. Some like a rap song. Yeah, yeah. The angel of night drop out of the light. <laughs> <laughs> you can clearly see that Lord Sporty Man is not meant to be a rapper. Well, with a name like that, is it any wonder? Oh, well, yeah. In all fairness, Top Dog does actually sound like a rapper's name. <laughs> Top Dog. Yeah. Top Dog. Snoop Dogg had an owner. Snoop Dogg and Top Dog. <laughs> that the Top Dog. So yeah, good game really. We haven't, well, how long have we had it now? About a month? Yeah, yeah. So we're getting used to it. It was a Christmas present, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was, yeah. I'm, I'm severely disappointed that none of you took the advice in our previous videos and none of you <laughs> bought us but, uh, Football Manager 2014 for Christmas. Bad mistake, man. We are mistake. genuine, we were crying. We were just at Christmas Day going, I wonder if they did it, I wonder if they sent it. And we, so, look, you, whoever you are, don't, don't worry about other people watching this video, whoever you are, you could have prevented Top Dog Dog's tears. I you cried. S you sickened me. I had a real good cry. I had to. I had to help him. I had to <laughs> console him. Yes. Oh, finally he makes the kill. Noob Tube. The Angel of the Night. That's the KDR. Oh, there, I missed that. Oh god. We don't uh, have the benefit of being able to pause a video like you did. So if you're interested, just pause. Oh god, no. I, I really want to go back now. No. We no, can't do it. it. We can't do it. Leave we it. have to. Oh. Real <laughs> fairness. I was on nine for four. I don't think I died that many times. I got a kill at the end. Wow. I reckon I was probably about 10 for 6, 10 for 7. As you'll see, I'm able to mix it up a lot more than LSM. Yeah, well, you yeah, know, yeah. Even I, you can admit, I'm, yeah, I'm more yeah, skilled in various more areas than you. Various more areas? Various more areas. That actually kind of rhymes. It makes sense as well, so it's okay. Various more areas. <laughs> right. Ah, here we go. Siege of Shanghai. Did you get to see Top Dog do his thing? It's a fancy ass map. Top Dog live up to his name? Nope. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I remembered something that happened later. What's this? In this video, you were about to see something that made us consider the name of the episode being 
top dog drop kicks a lamppost. <laughs> we will not go into it any further. Just wait for it. It's pretty self explanatory. Really. Yeah, really. But, I, uh, I don't know why I decided to start off in the helicopter here, but I did. Uh, I'm not the greatest helicopter flyer, so if you're playing with us in the next episode oh, and God. you see me yeah. in the helicopter, like, run. just, just yeah, run. Don't even bother spoiling Don't, don't worry about going in the helicopter. Just worry that he's going to crash into you. You know, there, there's a one... Well, all Battlefield players will know this. There's the one annoying thing where you like spawn in a vehicle and the driver's obviously a noob and he just like dies instantly. I'm, I'm basically that driver. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Though in all fairness... At the moment, that oh, is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You probably, you might have killed the two people in there, to be honest. So here we go. If I get a kill, oh, no, they're like, like, oh, so someone fixing that? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. friendly. I think you survived. I kill think... comes here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In all fairness, yeah. I think I remember, this was a week ago, and my memory's relatively hazy from, you know, everything. Uh, <laughs> just everything. Just everything. I'm fairly sure I remember Top Dog making this all look pretty damn silky. And oh, yeah. One, I look great to start. Look, prone. That's oh, skill. That's oh, skill. that was Call of Duty tactics coming in there. I've been practicing at that. If you can do that, if you're under fire and you go prone, it's a great tactic. Drop shot. Drop shot, that's what we call it. I'm not sure what the technical term is. But, you know. you said the technical term as if there's some guy out there writing the, the well, diction room for Battlefield. There is technical terms, like in Call of Duty, if you ever played Call of Duty, if you stand in front of someone and you jump up and down like a retard, that's you saying hi. Is it? Yeah, it is, you know that. Oh, right, no, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, then, yeah, and you know. And then if you go to someone and you do that, I'm going to stab you in the face repeatedly, and you just stand there, you just stab him. That's, that's it, get out the hell of my way. Right, yeah, that's basically you saying you're a prick. Right? Yeah, yeah, basically. So Now, you might have just seen, I think we were talking over it about everyone being a prick. Uh, <laughs> basically, it was a way of him choosing words to say. They were like simple kind of phrases, like, need a ride, or I need a ride, or yes, or thanks, or sorry. Or anything in my bad man voice. Basically, it's a way of talking to people without having to use first person shooter language, such as stabbing your friends in the face. Or so, a microphone. Yeah, yeah, basically. So if you're ever playing you know, with us in <coughs> Episode 7, uh, then, you know, use the R2 button or whatever button it is on yours. You might have changed the layout and just. just Talk to us. Don't don't stab us in the face. Talk to us. Well, it raises a valid point that one of the main ways to succeed in Battlefield 4 is teamwork. And that's right. not just in your team, but in your squad as well. There's a lot of em you know, emphasis on uh, squad work. So if you set up a kill for your squad, or you you know like, revive them or heal them, yeah. uh, you get bonus points for that because you know you're looking after your own people. Oh, shot down. It's fair to say, most three to one. Well, that's three to two. Well, it yeah, never counts the death on the actual. It counts the death after it's sure you won't get revived because you know, as we were saying with teamwork, there's yeah. a there's a revival system in case none of you have ever played Battlefield in Battlefield in any form. Uh, yeah, so you can revive your friends after they die, and I'm fairly sure this might be. Oh, yep, that's top yeah, dog drop kicking a lamppost. Uh, you can see his gun has stayed there. <laughs> He's wonderfully dropped the lamppost tactics, and yeah. then dropped it there. I clearly distracted that helicopter. Oh yeah, destroyed so, the helicopter. I mean, I'm a plan work. You know? Yeah, nice one. He looked at me and thought, oh, I'm going to kill him. Oh, I was already dead. Oh, yeah. I've crashed. You know. Now, as I say, this was, as I say many times, uh, this was recorded a week ago and I'm fairly sure I just saw him scroll through the layouts. So I'm sure at this point we should probably be talking about how Top Dog uses all of the layouts and how I just use Assault. But to be honest, I think we've basically covered that. Well, I should say that one of the good things about Battlefield compared to stuff like Call of Duty, you have different classes to suit different situations. And yeah. Sometimes you need Assault to revive your teammates if you need to make that big push forward, you know. And then sometimes... Uh, yeah. Oh god! I thought that was oh, a sword god. That stage. Yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was me. That was me attempting to revive my teammates with a, a noob tube. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see you. I see you dying. And then look, oh, I, get, there I actually got revived, which is quite unusual in this game. There's not a lot of reviving going on. Yeah, it's got to be said that I think me and Top Dog are probably the only people that actually revive people, mm. or in Top Dog's case, attack them with grenade launchers. But uh, there's, yeah, a, there's yeah. a fine line between reviving your teammates and killing the launch and the hero. But I like to think that I try. Sorry, I've just got the image of a doctor in a hospital now. Just <laughs> walking <laughs> around with a grenade launcher. launcher. 
This man needs help. I've got exactly the thing for it. Future treatment. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, oh dear, it's not looking good. Kind yeah. of like KDR being great at this point. I remember this was a bit of a poor streak in my uh, entirety, but it gets better. It gets better. I think your whole battlefield career has been a poor streak. <laughs> To be honest, I don't think we've said anything particularly. That's a bad thing. That was fantastic. <laughs> anything particularly noteworthy to become our episode title. I'm actually quite disappointed. Well, um, drop kicking the lamp. It can happen later. We'll yeah. See. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And if not, fribble cakes. Fribble cakes fribble is cakes. a. It's a backup. It's a good reserve. If you if you look down now and you see that the title is Fribble Cakes, the chances are we don't particularly say anything funny in the next five or ten minutes. We haven't hit it. Yeah. So uh, actually, that's that's probably not the thing to do because essentially what we've done, if anyone looks down <laughs> and sees Fribble Cakes, they're probably just going to go, oh no, the rest of wow. it crap. I'm done with this now. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You didn't oh. need to see that. Oh dear. Oh, oh except revive back. Except. You see that? That saved my face a bit there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I hope that those of you watching this think, yeah, yeah I've got to join these guys for a game, because, uh, yeah, that made me look good, that's for sure. Oh, oh, look, oh, that's alright, I thought I was going to revive my team over the mm -hmm. Could you imagine if this game collided with Football Manager? Oh, that would be oh, special. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> the way you said that would be special, just to, just to make me think, what would happen if you met Jose Mourinho on the pitch? I said pitch, I mean battlefield. And it's just like, I am the special one. And then he's just shooting if I slap the Because Jose Mourinho is French now. Yes, okay. I am the special one. I am the special one. Snails. Uh, <laughs> you, can, you can obviously tell that my French accent is, is lacking it's, somewhat. It's very lacking. Mm. Oh, yeah. This is a very tough one to attack, but we've made it look quite easy now. Well, yeah. There was a little thing that Top Dog got in this thing called Assist Counts as Kill. And I'm sure mm. pretty much everyone watching this video at some point has played some kind of first person shooter and thought, I killed him? Why did someone else get the points for it? I don't want an assist, I want the 100. Essentially, this game has said, you know, that is kind of. We'll so, give you the kill. Yeah, so it says Assist Counts as Kill. Except for Top Dog, because he's constantly dying. Why well, 11 for 7 there, 11 that's looking decent. Seven. Oh, and a revive, so. Yeah, yeah. Not bad, not bad. It's one of the good uh, good additions they made in this game where you can get that kill even if you didn't finalise it. Uh, we don't actually know what the number is where assist counts as kill. I think you have to take out. I think it's 75. I thought it was 66. 66. I think so. Nah, I've got an assist. From so if you've taken out two thirds, then I think you've got to be worth a kill. Wow. It's just not how the world works, Top Dog. I'm so sad. You should be sad. It's frivol okay. <laughs> yeah, now it's in context, we can use it. <laughs> Wonderful. Actually, I do go on a good little streak there, I think. Yeah. That said, I'm probably going to kill now. You will see. Oh so, no, I remember this. Make, yes, it does get very interesting though. And this is in 1.2 times speed as well, so it's going to look even better. Either that or a guy's about to appear from his right and kill I mean, luckily the tank hasn't actually seen it this stage, which is madness. It's like, no, that's what I do if I'm not happy. And then he drives off. Wait, someone's planted a bomb? Oh no, he must have like, oh, disappeared. What? Yeah, I did think so. <laughs> oh, I can't remember that. I think we were look remembering a different game, to be honest. Oh, maybe. Oh, I got the kill anyway. Oh, well. I, I, kill? I think I got You killed the bomb! Yeah. <laughs> I think I got on a streak on that. Oh god, I've got the tank. Oh no, it's alright. He's not driving. <laughs> yeah, he's safe. He's safe. Which, you know, again, we have to warn you. If you ever see Top Dog driving anything, do not approach him. He is a dangerous man. Just do not go anywhere near him. That's what my girlfriend says. Really? Do not approach him? Do not approach he's him. He's a dangerous man. <laughs> the dangerous boyfriend. Yes. Uh, if you are sad that we, we haven't played Football Manager for this episode, then no. we'll be back to it soon. I think probably episode eight. Actually, yeah, one of the the kind words of Top Dog. One of the Batman fans today said uh, he's got to give me a game for episode eight, so we'll get a oh, lesson yeah. improvement. Yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll just probably sit on the sidelines, just say, 
well, he's called Luke and he's a Leeds fan, so... Uh, Leeds fan, oh, yeah, should exactly. be easy. Oh. <laughs> should roll over. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think we're coming to the end of this video now. Well, somewhere towards the end. It's 11 for 9. I think we're 25 minutes in. It could be at the stage now where he quits. Then yes, it yes. looks like it. it looks right. Like it. We've, we've waited a week for this, <laughs> and we still remember when Top Dog's mediocrity causes him to leave. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Such a mediocrity. Well, we hope you uh, had a good time watching this, and we hope it's uh, worthwhile, especially if it's taken quite a while to get this out. Uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of annoyed that the title's going to be Fribble Cakes now. I kind of want, I kind of want to say something, just, even though it's completely out of context. I'm sure the video's going to finish any second now. Just say something. I just, say something. If there's one thing you should do in life, make your parents proud. How the hell are we supposed to make that a title? I'm not sure. That's going to be the whole title. <laughs> That's it. Fribble Cakes. <laughs> in brackets. If there's one thing you do, <laughs> make sure you make your parents proud. I like it. Let's do it. It's on. Safe. Right. Goodbye, Batman. Episode 7. Join us. Subscribe. Watch us. Everything. Like. Stuff. Ciao. Bye. Cheerio. See you later.